So yeah, it's that time of the year again when uh, us Americans get to celebrate the fact that we pretend we have freedom from uh, corrupt police states and stuff like that and that we're uh, better than everybody else. Anyways, we get out there, we get those explosives made in China, we wave those flags made in China, time to get drunk and blow up some stuff, you know, make some noise, scare the kids, scare the animals, scare veterans with PTSD, have to lock themselves inside their house to avoid the panic attacks from the noise, you know, America, baby, so you see right here, this is what it's all about, right here, everybody on the front lawn, you got the family, the kids, the pets, they're all out there celebrating freedom, and uh, that's what it's all about, you know, family, community, neighborhood, you know, freedom, so let's see how it goes here, this is this just just warms my heart to see this makes me proud to be an American you know watch family gatherings get some fireworks gonna celebrate this is what it's all about here folks America <laughs> behind her she was driving slow enough yeah so she could have tossed something but I tossed up. it out the window she could have out that window but who is, is that heart no that's uh If we're going to choose between, hmm, maybe we'll let him go a little bit farther and see what happens, or we're going to take him out now and eliminate any opportunity that he has to hurt somebody, you're going to err on the side of, in favor of, the innocent people, without a doubt. And what does that tell you? That tells you they do this shit all the time. He has no fear of any repercussion, and his boss is approve of him doing this to a hundred pound girl. Wait a minute. Let me get get this straight. The reason why we're having all these protests is it's because, because of, of police violence, and cops respond with what? Police violence. Why? Because cops are out of control, brutal maniacs who are recruited that way and then trained to be even worse. And that guy came right from the battlefield. The guy who did this came right. You should not allow military people to become policemen. That should be a rule. That should be a rule. Mil people, if you served in the military, you're not allowed to be a policeman. Because those are two different mindsets. And you see why? Why? I got, I'm going to guess this guy, has got his dick is about as big as my thumb also, by the way. Because what other kind of guy needs to be that steroided out? By the way, he's steroided out. Watch this. So here he goes. Yo, hey, hey! 
Now, why is it that every other person around there immediately knows there was something wrong with her, they have to take care of her, and that that cop should be in trouble, except any of the other cops? Can you point to me where the good cop is there? Again, there's got to be 50 cops walking down that street. Where is the good cop? There isn't one. There are no good cops. Now, if you want to know what happened to her, she had a seizure on her way to the hospital. That's what happened to her. She hit her head on concrete. Because this she was thrown. It's 90, 90 because she was thrown. I don't know if you saw how she was thrown, but I'll show it to you again. <laughs> That's a 300-pound, muscled-up, steroided, fucking thumb-dicked cocksucker assaulting, violently assaulting a woman. And who is that guy? That guy. That's him. And he's got a torture collar on his dog. This guy's fucking fucked up. And he's a cop. This guy's fucked up. And he's a cop. Do they have a psychological exam? Yes. And if you're fucked up, they let you in. By the way, if you're too smart or show compassion, they get rid of you. They like obedient maniacs who are hopped up on steroids who like to torture people. That's who fucking cops are. How many more videos do you need to see? And there they all go. There they all. They're they're a gang. Look at them marching down the they're street. They're a gang of main. They're they're a gang. They're a. Br That's how you would expect a gang member of the Crips or the Bloods to handle a woman who got in their face. That's how the the. And, and NYP, New York's finest. They go through neighborhoods beating the shit out of women, cracking their heads on the ground, causing them concussions. That's who this guy is. That's who cops are. And who's his, who's his supervisor who's right there? Doesn't do a goddamn thing. So again, this is who this guy is, Vincent D'Andrea. And uh, he's worked at the New York City's mayor's office. He worked at the U.S. Marine Corps. Bad idea to hire them as cops. Do you see what happens? Do you see this guy's been trying to make up for his thumb dick his entire life? Studied at United States Marine Corps. Went to Ward Melville High School. Lives in New York, New York. From Stony Brook, New York. I, it's weird when people don't add, like, I'm an asshole. In those bylines, right? right? They just should. He knows he is. He's proud. He's an asshole, by the way. That's him. DeAndrea. I Officer DeAndrea from you know the 73rd Precinct violently shoved a protest. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I want to know the name of the supervisor. Where's the supervisor? He's right there. I, you I know what? Know I'm going to tell badge. you what's going to happen. What happened to these people who did this stuff to occupy people is they got vacation days taken away. Oh, and, and the city has to pay for the lawsuits. That's right. So if I did that to him, if I was walking down the street and I pushed him hard enough where he tripped and hit his head and had a concussion, do you think they would take a vacation day away from me? And so now if you, if you witness that, are you supposed to go beat the fucking shit out of that cop? Because that's what the cop would do to you if you did it to him. Again, I have, there's video after video after video just from yesterday. People protesting about police violence and police are so out of control maniacs that they commit violence on them during a protest about police violence. So watch out, watch, here's another one. This is, all, this is all from yesterday. This is all from one fucking day in America. It was constant. It was constant. And there's millions more I won't have time to get to. <laughs> Did you see that? You see the cop just, so the cops are beating on someone. The cops all just swarmed. Cops show up. They cause violence. Violence starts happening. Cops swarm on one guy, start pounding on him. And then another guy comes up and there's a guy standing there and he just rips him, throws him and throws him into a fucking car and bashes his head. Watch this. <laughs> so this guy, guy grabs him and just throws him. And that guy is out. And that cop doesn't even go over to him. That guy is out. You hear it. You hear his head.
And that cop, what does he do? He turns around. I don't give a fuck. He wants to go back to beating on this guy. They're all, all the cops are here. I'll show you. Here's a better video of it. So something's happening. All the cops start going maniac because they start beating up someone over here. See, they really want to beat the, they're going to, and they start beating the fuck out of some guy. And, and did you hear the guy yelling to the cops? What the fuck are you doing? Get off of him. What the fuck are you doing? Well, I'll tell you what they're doing. They're, they're delivering a beating to someone because they're on steroids and they've been trained to do this and they joined so they could do this. That's what they like doing. You know, Jimmy, four years ago, we went to the conventions. And we were in Cleveland at the convention, and cops were doing that shit. And it was, it was they have this organization that they had, and they would use their bikes as kind of a, a fence. No, as to, a weapon. Yes, and yeah. to move and move the crowd. Yeah. It was all... All they had to do was ask people to back up, and we would have. Instead, they just got... All of a sudden, they just go, boom! All, in unison. And you're like, oh, my God, you guys. You guys are such pussy cowards. And then last, Most cops are cowards, last let's, be June, let's be honest. we were in Portland, and I didn't want us to go to the protest. I, I went was to like, the protest. I don't want to go to the protest because I didn't trust the not cops. the protesters. I wasn't worried about Antifa or the car or the right-wingers or the guy with the guns from with the American flag. I wasn't worried about those guys. I was worried about the cops, and I was right because the cops fucking hit me. And you were wearing a suit coat. I'm wearing a suit coat. <laughs> we're in a suit coat. I'm a white guy with a suit coat, and the fucking cop still hit me. Wait a minute, and you were on the sidewalk. And I was on the sidewalk. The cop wanted, he wanted to get by. <laughs> cops are fucking maniacs, man. Again, I don't know if you know any cops. I know lots of cops. To a person, they love doing this shit. They love it. Smartest guy I went to high school with became a cop. Why? Because he was 5'6", and he got picked on his whole life. He had the highest ATC scores in a fucking Catholic high school. Could have went to any college he went to, wanted to. He became a cop so he could fuck with people because he was fucked with his whole life. Those are the two kind of people who are cops, people who were bullied and bullies. And now he's a racist maniac with the highest fucking SAT score in the country. And he's, I had to block him on Facebook. They love doing this shit. Don't fucking kid yourself. The days of cops joining to get health insurance are over. Oh, by the way, so here, here this is from Omaha, even in Omaha, Nebraska. So every city, and here's Omaha, Nebraska. It said, this is great. It says, this is a video from Omaha, Nebraska tonight. It is approximately 9 p.m. The protest was planned to end at 9 p.m. with a moment of silence for George Floyd. But it will not end at 9 p.m. because the police have come and instigated with their presence and use of tear gas. You want to see some of the video? Here's some of it. This is in Omaha. Cops are tear grassing people. These are the whitest of white people in the world. Oh, did you see that white woman just walk by and go, pig? The white people are calling the cops pigs in Omaha, Nebraska. That's how bad policing is in America. White women in Omaha, Nebraska are calling the cops pigs. And do you see how they're dressed? Like they're trying to take over Fallujah. They're in Omaha fucking Nebraska. Do you see how we need to completely get rid of and start over in America with our police forces? Omaha, Nebraska, they're dressed like they're taking over Fallujah and white women are calling them pigs. Here's my here's my second favorite video. So cops like to just be assholes, right? Because they are. So this guy is filming them and he wants to get the guy's badge number. Did you see that? He's filming him. He's a citizen. Wants to get the guy's badge number. So the cop decides, well, I can do whatever I want to you. Because look, got, I, I got, got other cops around I got me. tear gas. I got cops around me. I got a gun. I got Kevlar. I got a helmet. And I look like a badass. And I'm feeling strife. I'm feeling like I can almost get an erection again. So that's what that guy's feeling like. And so watch what he does. So he knocks, he takes the guy's camera and throws it. Right in his face, this guy does that. Because he's got all his buddies around him. So he's a real tough guy now. Because you would never do that to this guy in real life. 
And by the way, I'm allowed to know your name and your badge number. That's right. I'm allowed to know that. That's right. So watch what so watch what this guy does. You don't see it. The camera goes away for a second, but you can put it together what he does. Watch this. He fucking knocked that cop out. He fucking knocked that cop out. You want to see it again? Fucking knock that cop out. Now, you know what I will say is Knock that fucking cop out. Did you notice how when a cop is knocked out, then all of a sudden several cops tend to the needs of that cop? Yeah. That's but not, if you're a citizen. But if you're a citizen, they don't give a shit. Again, they they're, keep not, they're not there to serve. They're there to hurt you and protect the elite. And so that guy got knocked the fuck out. And maybe that's what you get when you fuck with someone who's a citizen when you're paid to serve them. What do the bootlickers think about this? What do the bootlickers think about that? Is it okay if somebody disrespects you, you can knock them out? Only It's only the police who can knock out citizens when they get disrespected? So that guy assaults, he's assaulting the citizen, taking his property and throwing it out of his hand and throwing it away and breaking it. He's assaulting that guy. That guy responds in kind. How do you think a cop would react if a cop came up to you with a phone and you ripped it out of his hand and threw it? How do you think the cop would react? Want to see it again? Because I do. Bam. Bam. Shit. Shit, maybe you shouldn't fuck with people who are ten times bigger than you for no reason. Maybe you shouldn't be such an asshole, a violent asshole. Maybe you shouldn't pr start creating violence at this protest. Hey, maybe you should be more responsible. Do you think that's what they're saying to him? That's what I would say. Hey, are you using your de-escalation training? Yeah. And that guy who hit him's got fucking balls, man. Because there's cops everywhere. And he's like, no, you can't disrespect me like that, motherfucker. No. Is there anybody on the cop side in this? In, in this, in the chat, anybody still defending this piece of shit? I, I believe the snowflake bootlickers have, have gone left? away. Good. But they're still really sad. Go watch Crowder or something. Or go watch Sean Hannity. Yeah. He's been, he loves the cops. Go watch those guys. You, you're all a bunch of bootlicking pussies, and I don't give a fuck if you ever watch my show. Oh, yeah. Go away. Go away. Go away. You're gross. <laughs> And then this guy who pretends he's a protester, actually a cop. This. So now Fort Wayne, Indiana. I've been to Fort Wayne, Indiana plenty. I've been to Omaha, Nebraska plenty. I've been to Fort I've been everywhere. All these cities, I've been to all of them. And I've been to Fort Wayne at least a half a dozen times. Uh, Can I ask you a question before you do that? The last thing they need is riot cops in Fort Wayne, Indiana. They don't, I don't even know if they have. I think that's the traffic light. Can you do me a favor and clarify for bootlickers something? So you showed the video earlier of the woman getting out of a car and hitting a cop, and then she was right. struck by a policeman. Right. The cop escalated the violence right. instead of doing what he was supposed so to. So what's the difference between that and the man that just hit the cop? Because the bootlickers don't understand. Well, what's the difference? Oh, the, the difference the difference is— It's hard is, for the bootlickers to figure it out. The difference is the cops are supposed to be the professional in the situation to serve the public. So if that woman might have a mental problem, that woman might have just been assaulted before, she might be in distress. Who knows what's going on with that woman? But she's not a threat to those policemen. And so what they did was instead of restraining her and taking care of her, they assaulted her and escalated the violence, which is the exact opposite of what you want. If that was your mother, is that how you want him to handle it? If that was your sister, what if she's having a fucking schizophrenic episode? That's how you want him to handle it? So the difference between that and then this other situation is that cop is the guy in control. The cop was the guy in control. The cop's got all his cop friends. He's the tough guy. He's, he's the guy being paid to be there to, to serve them. So you see, that it's totally different. That woman's a random citizen who might have some problems. 
This guy's a cop given the authority. So when cops are given the monopoly on violence, do you understand what that means? That they're allowed to, like if you're walking down the street and you see cops hitting someone, you're not going to go, oh my God, you're going to go, well, they, that guy must have did something. They have been, But if they, if they weren't cops and you saw somebody hitting someone, you would go, oh my God, we got to stop it. We got to do something. Because cops are given the monopoly on violence. They're allowed to use violence. And they're given a gun. And with that comes huge responsibilities. Huge. One of them is you don't assault a guy who's filming you. Another one is you don't instigate violence. That's what those cops were doing. That's what that cop did when he took his phone and threw it. That's the difference. It's not that hard to understand. It, it's, 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 it's hard to understand if, you, uh, if you're embracing your inner racist and you're watching Sean Hannity and you're a fucking bootlicker and you don't understand that cops are fucking criminal assholes. If you don't understand that, go fuck with some cops and see what happens to you. Thanks for the clarification. So here's what happened in South Bend. Watch this. South Bend. There's their one traffic light. They're all dressed like they're taking over Fallujah. They've got no, nothing to worry about. There's nothing happening. But the cops, they have weapons, so they want to use them. They've been giving these weapons like these flashbangs. Oh, my God. How much? I wish I had a flashbang. How much fun would that be? I love blowing off fireworks. <laughs> so watch what they do. Completely peaceful protests. Nobody's doing nothing. Watch this. Broad daylight. Watch this. Do you, so do you see what the cops just did? Yeah. Cop just threw a flashbang. Did you see that? Yep, for just entertainment. To, for entertain, just to entertain themselves, to fuck with people. From the second line. So he's throwing. So that's, that looks like tear gas. And now, oh, now they're and now they're macing people. Why? And then that guy, why is he macing that guy? Why are you macing? They're just assaulting people. There's nothing happening. It's Fort Wayne. Do you see how there's nothing happening? Do you see how nothing is happening? And do you see how the cops are just, oh, they want to feel like badasses because they're a bunch of thumb dicked, steroided up fucking pussies? That's what cops are, man. They're bullies. That's all that is. And none of those cops turn around and go, why are you doing that? You want to see it again? This is fucking South Bend, Indiana. <laughs> and then they start and they start tear gassing them. There's kids out there and girls with signs. People on scooters. And they start tear gassing them. Kids on scooters. Such fucking cops are such cowards. Sad. If you're siding with the cops, brutalizing people, you're a bootlicker. And you're and you're a Trumper. A lot of Trumpers are bootlickers. Uh, a lot of a lot of Obama voters are bootlickers. So, uh, I mean, you see, tr you, I showed if you're you a bootlicker. We'd like to invite you to open up your critical thinking skills right now and think about humanity. No, I don't care. Then that those people need to get the, the, the only thing that's going to change their mind is when a cop throws them out of their house or a cop cracks coming, their head or a coming. cop sexually assaults their wife or their girlfriend or a cop shoots them with a bu rubber bullet or a cop tear gasses their mother. That that's that's the only thing that's going to change a bootlicker's mind. And even then it might not. Because those are people who are self-loathing also. They like a daddy figure. They like authority. Conservatives in general like daddies and conservatives. And they, they're, they're, you become a better person by how loyal and subservient you are to authority. That's the mind of a conservative, right? The more loyal and subservient you are and obedient you are to authority, the more moral of a person you are in a conservative's mind. Now, I'm more of a radical lefty, and I say, fuck the police. I say, fuck the power. Fuck the establishment. Let's fucking make them scared of us. Whereas conservatives are like, cops should beat the fuck out of you if you actually do things that you... Like, they're, they're the exact opposite of George Washington. George Washington said, I'm going to get a gun and start shooting some motherfuckers. That was George Washington, and... That's how he felt about the government. The people who follow the conservatives today are the opposite of George Washington. They're the people who would still be in subservience to the fucking king of England if it was up to them. Those are bootlickers. Bullshit is everywhere.
Bullshit is rampant. Parents are full of shit, teachers are full of shit, clergymen are full of shit, and law enforcement people are full of shit. This entire country, this entire country is completely full of shit and always has been, from the Declaration of Independence to the Constitution to the Star Spangled Banner, it's still nothing more than one big steaming pile of red, white, and blue, all-American bullshit.